What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to give you a quick overview of the Q1 earnings, go over all the data points that you need to know, and potentially why it is going down 11.16% today. So I'm going to go over all that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So today is one wild day, one physical dollar as far as the range today. So it did have a high today of $6.54 and currently at $5.54. So crazy, crazy day. Even though if you look at a lot of the numbers that came out, SoFi hit a home run on a lot of them. So as you can see, member growth up 433,000, 46% year over year. And similarly, as far as the products, 46% up year over year, which works out to be 660,000. So kind of keeping in line with the member growth going up, deposits and everything else goes up. But a lot of people want to know why on earth is SoFi down because looking at a lot of their summary of the earnings. So this is a quick snapshot that was posted by Brad Freeman, very smart individual on Twitter. But as you can see, they beat on revenue, beat on earnings per share, beat on future guidance. And not only that, they raised their future guidance so they might be optimistically profitable by the tail end of 2023. But there was some things that potentially caused a little bit more of a red flag and so there was an article that did come out saying sofi technologies q1 earnings improving but why they are staying clear and throughout this article still underlying a lot of bullishness they bring up the fact that they keep calling it record-breaking things record-breaking numbers all the time but as of right now it's just because they're comparing themselves to an earlier version of sofi that wasn't really established so everything at that stage during a growing aspect of a company is always going to be record breaking. So I think this individual is just trying to point out the fact that SoFi is trying to maybe mislead investors. But keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. You guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day. This is just my own interpretation of this article. But they also talk on the multiple right now that he himself is unwilling to pay a 20x multiple on the EBITDA based on the recent results. And more specifically as well, looking at the actual true data, one reason why it might be trending down is because of, for instance, a lot of the lending products. And more specifically, personal loans is up 38%, especially given that a lot of institutions are completely shouting that there's a recession coming increasing the amount of risk is not necessarily the best play. So for instance, even looking here, um, over right here. So as far as the personal finances, the products, so money up 48%, invest 22%, credit cards 65%, referred loans 159%. And this is comparing the first quarter of 2022 to 2023. So the fact that they have gone up 65% is on the credit cards at least, is a little bit more concerning. And not only that, they didn't really give any clarification as far as the dollar value that they are going to be paying for the whole Wyndham mortgage thing. So again, a lot of grayness and the market absolutely hates grayness. Keep in mind, I haven't really done a deep dive into the actual true earnings yet. This is just what stood out to me. And just like I said, based on this one article that was the first one out that is bearish in other words. But like I said, I think the underlying tone in this is that they're still very much impressed by the numbers from the Q1, which is fair to assume because I do feel that these were very good results, better than the analysts. So we'll see what the analysts come down the pipeline with uh, as far as expectations and new ratings potentially on SoFi. But the fact that it is going down almost about 10.51% right now a little bit more scary. So as of right now on the technicals though, it went very much optimistic to very much negative in the span of almost about a couple hours. And it did transition from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiling band, broke below the 50 and 100 day moving averages. And typically though, when it does break below the outside percentile of the boiling band as right here, similar to these kind of scenarios right here, it does get dragged back in. And so of course that might be a very good time to potentially increase your position at these prices, which maybe once I'm done doing this video, I'll quickly buy some shares of SoFi. But regardless of that though, I wanna give you guys a quick overview of some other data points, including what shorts are doing. So right now they're increasing 486,000 shares, 
bringing the grand total to 95.61 million shares being shorted, and that's 11.97% of the free float. Still, like I've said, I don't see a squeeze happening anytime soon, but the fact that shorts are increasing their position during a very much red day goes to show that behind the scenes they anticipate it to continue to trend down. Similarly, right here, there's a ton of call options being purchased, so $5.2 million worth of call options, $1.61 million worth of puts. Very opposite to what is happening happening with shorts. So right now, based on the shorts, a little bit more bearish in that aspect, but the options activity kind of signals that this is a very massive overreaction. But of course, like I said, I could be very much wrong. But as well, one other indicator that you can always really look at is, for instance, big money to see exactly what they are doing, whether they are buying, selling or whatever they might be doing. And based on, for instance, these are all the transactions on the dark pool. Dark pool is very much linked to shorting but a lot less big money is getting in, a lot less uh, big transactions per se. And as far as what is happening on the secondary market, I'll quickly pull up SoFi right here. And on the secondary market, you do see some fairly big transactions, but a lot of them are sells. And you can tell that based on the bid and the ask versus the actual price. So this 1.01 million was a sell. 4.51 was a sell. And those are actually only the transactions for today. So even big money isn't necessarily buying this dip. If anything, what they're doing is selling. So behind the scenes, technicals are breaking down a little bit, but like I mentioned already, I feel that the earnings are a fairly big success. Maybe there is one point that I'm completely overlooking based on the actual earnings, but like I mentioned, I'll go through this and give you guys a good overview of this based on its own dedicated video. But right now looking at Stochastic, there is a nice still bullish sentiment behind the scenes. So Take that how you see that, of course, but Stochastic is currently at 53, so fairly neutral in that regard. Momentum number retail investors are just getting out today, but like I mentioned, just big money seems to be not getting in, and based on the FIB levels with it being $5.59, it is now exactly on that S2, so today was one hell of a wild ride. So in reality, it went from basically trading between the R1 and the R2 to now looks like being trading between this S2 and the S1. So I do feel that it is going to correct itself and go up to most likely around the 580 range is probably where it will settle. But based on these results, like I said, I don't see exactly the true fundamental reason why it's going down, but I do feel that this, based on these results, it should be easily at $8. So starting off, let me know you guys' thoughts on the earnings. Did you guys, was there anything that stood out to you from the actual conference call? Or what kind of was your takeaway from that? Give yourself a shout out as well if you have been adding to your position or where you see things going. Like I said, today was one hell of a crazy day, physically trading within one whole dollar. And that's absolutely crazy. But no matter what, let me know you guys' thoughts on that in the comments below. Be aware though, this isn't necessarily a SoFi problem today. Just the broader market and a lot of the growth stocks are just going down very much so. So you kind of have that negative thing that's also working against SoFi right now. So once again, let me know you guys' thoughts on all of that in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, I appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.